Good day fellow noobs. Today I'm going to show how to get data from the Philippine Stock Exchange into your Excel file automatically. This is so if you want to monitor the stocks that you hold or you just want to check the st stock market in general. Also this is if you want to make your own comparisons or for your own research. And uh, one final note. Uh, for this to work, you're going to need a Microsoft 365 account. So, yeah, this might not work for older versions. So, for this one, we're going to go through two things. One, we're going to use uh, stocks data types, and the other one is we're going to use the uh, stock history function. So first off, we'll show how to use the stocks data type. For the stocks data type, this is where you, you'll get a general in general information about the stocks. To illustrate there, to illustrate this, so I have a list of stocks here. So assuming this is just a watch list for some stocks, for, for example, I have here Yala Land, BPI, Cebu, Pacific, China Bank, Converge, Phil Invest, Meralco, MPI, Manila Water, and Security Bank. So you're going to have your uh, stock stock names here in the list and you're going to find in the data tab data tab here in the data types so first you'll highlight your st stocks that you want to check click on the stocks here convert to stocks and you'll see it's going to look different now click on this insert data and from here, you can see all the options or all the information that you can you can pull in. So, for example, if you want to get the previous closing price, you can put that in. And then, if you want to enter the, for example, the price, and if you want to get the PE ratio, if you want to get the market capitalization. It's going to be this one or uh, let's say if you want to get the 52 week high and 52 week low and so yeah so this is your previous close this is the current price this is the PE ratio market cap high and low and that's basically it now if you're trying to compare for example PE ratio then here you can see it directly for example if you want to compare Ayala land and fill invest land so yeah so from this you can see that Ayala land's PE ratio is around 34 and fill invest land 6.37 so yeah so make your own conclusions about what those numbers mean but so this is just uh, an FYI on what is the stock's current for example price to equity ratio um, so one downside for this is um, so I wish it had more information for example uh, if you look at the the, the field that you can input so but right now you can't see for example the amount of dividends that you'll get or for example how much dividend you get for your uh, let's say if you invest in the stock also there's no direct way to get for example the book value so maybe perhaps they'll include it in future runs but yeah so this is one way that you can use the stocks data type now another is using the stocks stock history function. Um, so for this one, let's try, let's look at the stock history function. So to use the stock history function, we're going to type in stock history. And so from here, you'll see that stock history requires a couple of items. So it needs a stock, needs a start date, needs an end date, interval headers and properties. Now what I'll do is I'll put a separate place for that first. So start date and end date, and then the other ones will just 
US black for this. For example, just uh, as an example, I'm going to put in BPI and let's say I'll have the start date as the start of the year. Let's have the current date today. Now to use the stock history, we're going to type in stock history. I'm going to select the stock here. Come on, start date. Of course, you can put it in the formula right over here if you can, but this is so if so it's easier to see. If, and if that's all we entered, you're still going to get the, the dates and closing for BPIs. For example, when the year started, its price was at 82. And so for today, it was at 86. It's 82 to 86. Now, you can expand this using the other arguments that you need. For example, for the intervals, let's say, let's put it as daily. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to select the show instrument identifier and header. And these are some of the properties that you can put in. So for example, I'm going to put in the date and I'm going to put in the close. Open, high, low, and the volume. And press enter. Let it load. And so, yeah. So, the, these are the day to day information for BPI. Okay. Now, for example, let's type in PDO. Okay. So, if you notice the currency change, also we'll see that from the stock tier here it's now typing in exchange for France uh, so one workaround I found for this is you're gonna have to manually type the code for the Philippines so we're just gonna be quotation x PHS and then colon and then open Let's see what we did wrong here. Need to add, add an end sign. Okay. All right, so now this is now pulling in from the stock exchange in the Philippines. So yeah, so that's the information for BDO. Now, again, use this information however you want and you can make uh, your, let's say, comparisons that you want to make. Um, so one that you can do here is so i'm going to remove the other ones I, i'm just going to leave the closing price for this one um so let's say i want to make a comparison for the change so let's say i'm going to put in a second stock for bpi as well so I'll let's put it here stock history again stock and then i'm going to start Click on this start date and this start date. Now, if you want to add a price change, of course, it's going to be uh, then the, the, this works as a normal formula. And can put this in here the day to day price change and so yeah, so this one's for BDO and this one's for BDI and these are the day-to-day -day price change. And you can make a graph or a line chart however you want to go with it, but that's it. So this is one way to use the stock history and the stocks data type. Um, that's it. I hope you find this useful if you have any questions. Feel free to enter on the comments below. Uh, thank you and good night.